Welcome to Dayton. Ndi Nabia Wright State University. Ndi Wono. Wright State University mein aapka swagat hai. Aapne sahi faisla liya hai and yahi hai jahan pe aapko aana chahiye. Wokhima Baim to Wright State University. Welcome. I hope to see you soon. from India and I had done my dentistry there and I was planning to come here to study in healthcare management field. I'm originally from Israel and I came here to Wright State to study for four years. My major is psychology. I'm doing my MBA right now. The reason why I came to Dayton was I got an invitation from, from a relative and I took the invitation. And they just offered me to come over here. They told me about Wright State. And I had applied to a few other universities, but I like certain things about Wright State University, what they have to offer, especially in my course. I just took the opportunity and came here. When I landed here first in Dayton, I had no friends or family at the airport to receive me. Now what the Wright State offered me was an airport pickup service. It was such a big relief to see some students from the university at the airport for me. And the whole transition, like you know, a totally to a new place became a lot more easier. And I was surprised to find how friendly people are here, how accepting they are, especially for somebody who comes from a different culture, from a different country, and so diverse. I'm originally from uh, Nigeria. Right now I'm currently studying a master's in business administration with a concentration in healthcare management. Rice State offers you the opportunity to meet people from all over the world. It's not too large, it's not too small. The classes are very student friendly. And the professors here have such a deep knowledge of the subject they are teaching and such an easy way to get access to them. You can email them or you can make meetings and appointments with them very easily. What surprised me about Wright State is um, not only the hospitality and the friendship, but also the awareness that they have for people with disabilities. I was extremely surprised that this campus in general is so suited for people with disabilities. So I think Rice State has a lot to offer to students, both domestic students and international students. I created a lot of relationships around here. I'm a, I'm a kind of, I'm a very friendly guy. So I know a lot of people, and I'm also a president of a student organization here at Rice State called ICE, Interculture Exchange. So we do a lot of activities to try and bridge the gap between Americans and international students. And right now, as of now, I'm working as a graduate assistant with the University Center for International Education. I've made lots of connections and relationships with uh, both students and professors. And here I'm getting to learn new cultures and I get to meet people from different backgrounds as well as doing different courses. Uh, I've met students from all over the world. I met students uh, from India, students from South America, students from you know, Africa, American students. By doing that activities, I meet a lot of people and that helped me to feel not as alone here because I am here alone without a family. So having so, much, so many friends, so many people that are interested in what I'm doing or want to hang out with me, it keeps me close to a family, so I, I consider Wright State as my second family. The advice that I will give to somebody who's coming from a different country to hear, it's to get involved and not to be afraid. I would say leap into the deep ocean or just go and swim with the sharks. My advice for the students who are coming in here at Wright State University would be to email and speak to their professors and advisors so that they can have a idea of what kind of courses they need to take each quarter and prepare their program of study before they come here. Uh, Rice State has a lot of, a lot of uh, things and infrastructures to offer to students. Um, the tutoring services is very important. You can go there to get more information, be it math, English. Uh, I've been there for the English uh, tutoring sessions. Um, Rice State provides uh, on-campus housing to students. There are also off-campus um, housings available to students also. The on-campus housing is very convenient to students. You don't need transportation. It's very close to the 
facilities on campus to the academic facilities. Also, security is provided to students on campus. There's a campus police department. We have something called as a job fair that we have only in the fall. And if the students come here maybe 10 days or 15 days earlier than the start date, they can attend that job fair and there are different ways of getting on-campus jobs. I'll find out more about the weather because they would need to know what the weather feels like when they arrive here. If they are coming from tropical countries, it becomes difficult for them to adjust to the snow that we have here. So I would advise them to have a look and get all the warm clothing or things they would require. And you're going to find out that a lot of people here are feeling the same way, are scared more or less, and they will be eager to know more about you the way you want to know about them. And you're going to make a very, very good time here at Wright State by making those connections and friends. What surprised me about Wright State University was the ease of getting around the campus. Like for example, we had the tunnel system here. So you know, in case like I came in here in spring, but that was too cold for me. So I used to use tunnels to get from one building to other without going out in the bad weather. The UCIE, um, the acronym means the University Center for International Education. This is like the office that caters to all international students. Um, the UCIE provides free transportation for students that are coming into the country. The UCAE also provides information to students regarding immigration. Uh, they provide information about um, classes, how to communicate with their parents. Most students that come here do not have relatives, so the UCAE is like a second home or acts as their relative to most of the students. The thing that Wright State mainly teach you is how to be adjustful to certain things in life, especially with this hectic environment that we live here with school, with work and other activities around us. The Dayton region offered me a lot of activities and a lot of opportunities to have fun. Especially downtown Dayton has a lot of, uh, throughout the year, a lot of festivals. So I love the Air Force Museum. It's, it's huge, it's amazing and I, it's a kind of thing which I, would, I think I would see just once in my lifetime. Um, there is a very entertaining nightlife here in Dayton. As well, there are a lot of places that you can go and shop if that's your interest. And uh, there are also facilities available to students here in Dayton that encourage students to learn. It's a very calm and quiet environment that also kind of like adds to students learning in general and not just the learning aspect of it but the entertaining and the fun aspect of it too. So Dayton region offers you a lot of activities 